Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Troy here. Uh, I made this video uh, called uh, President Obama is to blame for the ammo shortage, not me. I made that on uh, February 20th of 2013. And I made it in response to uh, a lot of comments that I'd received uh, when I had, I had made videos of the different types of ammo that I have stockpiled. I, uh, I did one on my non-millimeter ammo stockpile and 223 and uh, 7.62 by 39 and, and 22 I believe and there might have been others and also magazines and I would always receive comments that you know uh, I'm one of the ones to blame for the ammo shortage and and uh, I see that in other people's videos uh, that they get the same comments and you know I would always respond back to them that you know for the first thing that you know most of the ammo that they're seeing has all been purchased over years of time, way before this ammo shortage, uh, you know, a uh, so-called ammo shortage ever ever, uh, ever started. Um, and then also I m made uh, a video um, on March 6 uh, called Are You an Ammo Addict? Uh, discussing, you know, how people are, are just buying, some people are buying up as much ammo if you can find it, uh, and, uh, and so finding out if they were addicts. And so... Um, let me. Uh, I'm going to cut the video and walk over and, and show a uh, display some things that I have uh, to to prove a point here. Okay, so I looked up the word uh, hobby uh, in uh, Wikipedia, and uh, it says uh, hobby is a regular regularly undertaken activity that is done for pleasure, typically uh, during one's leisure time. Hobbies can include the collection of themed items and objects engaging in creative and artistic pursuits, tinkering or playing sports, along with many other examples by continually participating in a particular hobby, one can acquire substantial skill and knowledge in that area. And then also, if you look under collecting part of your hobby, um, the hobby of collecting inc includes seeking, locating, acquiring, organizing, categorizing, cataloging, displaying, uh, storing, and maintaining whatever items that are of interest in the individual collector. So in front, here in front of me I have a different collection of different things that, that, people, that, that people collect. And, and I want to go over, and these are all things that I've kept uh, over the years that I have collected. Uh, a lot of it, you know, I've gotten out of, sold a lot of it. And I still have a few things left over. So when I was younger, uh, in my teens, I, I collected stamps, um, and uh, you know it was, it was a very enjoyable, um, you know, hobby to have. And uh, you know, after a while, uh, didn't get that much involved in it anymore. And this, you know, this just happens to sit around. I've had this probably since I was 12, 14, 15 years old. Uh, then I got into uh, later on. Um, I didn't get into it real big, but I, I got into getting, you know, the uh, treasure hunt Hot Wheel cars. Um, didn't get into it too big, and, you know, I've got rid of a lot of them, and this is all that I have left. Um, and then, uh, over the over a lot of the years, I've, I've, I've collected a lot of coins, and these are actually coins that I've found uh, metal detecting, which is a hobby that I like to do. Um, I collect a lot of wheat scents, uh, too, as well, uh, when gold and silver was low I, I had bought a lot of gold and silver you know I had a whole bunch of uh, you know silver rounds and silver bars and and you know you know a whole bunch of it and I was able to sell it for you know a, a good amount of money when when it all went up um, I've also got big into uh, baseball cards and all you can see a uh, these are all Shaquille O'Neal rookie cards you know I've got five there of one and you know three and six of another and even more, you know, and I still, I sold off a lot of those baseball cards too as well, but I, I, I still have, you know, a lot left over, you know, some that I, that I still like to keep, and I, I even collected, then I still have some memorabilia, and so this is all part of, of, of a collection, uh, and, and as a hobby. Now, people also, uh, uh, as a hobby, uh, go shooting, and they have, uh, they collect guns, and they, and uh, it's a hobby going uh, let's say going uh, and shooting your gun is, is a hobby, either hunting or, uh, or uh, sports shooting, uh, anything like that. But when it comes to ammo, 
people don't look at it that way. And, uh, and they, they call us hoarders. And uh, they, they use the word prepper when, you know, they go prepper, all oh, those preppers. Uh, you know, they're just, you know, grabbing up all the ammo. Uh, and and they're, in, they're, they're afraid something's going to happen. And, and, you know, it's, you know, nothing's going to happen. And they're, they're taking all the ammo, um, you know, and, and they're blaming us, you know, for the ammo shortage. But the thing is, is why is it okay for me to have all these rookie cards? And I could show you even more Shaquille O'Neal rookie cards. And uh, when I had, I had probably, I don't know, uh, 30 or 40 of the same um, uh, silver bars. Uh, and, and, you know, I've got same uh, Hot Wheel cars here. Um, I collect, like I said, wheat scents. I've got... I mean boxes and boxes, probably, I don't know, 20,000 wheat cents, all of the same, you know, a lot of them are the, of the same date, but that's not, that's not hoarding, that's, a, you know, I don't get called hoarding, you're, you're, you're a collector, you know, it's your hobby. Well, so is this, that's what this is here, you know, uh, and, and, and it, like I said, I, I don't do it to buy it and turn around and sell it for a profit, I do it because it's part of my hobby. It's part of, uh, of my collection. That's what I do besides that, 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 and that. So people need to get a different mindset of what's going on. Now, if I got all these, th these things in a way that was, wasn't fair, then you guys would, should be upset, and we all should be upset. If somebody's you know, getting to the ammo or getting to the baseball cards, uh, before they even get out to the shelf or getting to the Hot Wheels cards. And I remember, you know, I've said that I worked at retail for, for 25 years. There was people that, that worked at, at my store, the stores that I've been at, that got fired for getting these Hot Wheels cards, the employees, and then buying them and, and then selling them to people, uh, you know, outside in the parking lot, which is a stupid thing that I've ever seen. So if, if somebody is getting it, just like everybody else, a little bit at a time, and I'm not going out and selling it for a profit at a way over a profit, you know, that's four or five times much, then, you know, you know, I am, I am a collector, you know, it's a, it's a hobby too, as well, collecting this ammo. So, um, you know, that's all I have for this video. I hope everybody, you know, can now understand where, you know, I'm coming with this video, where I'm coming from in this video, that it's just like, uh, you guys, there's tons of people out there collect Hot Wheels and stamps and coins of all kinds, silver, gold, whatever, baseball cards galore, galore. And then also we collect ammo, we collect guns, and, and uh, there's people that just carry the, uh, collect the shells themselves. So, you know, don't, don't call us hoarders because that's not what it is. It's, it's collection. And, if, and a hoarder is somebody that has, that has no rhyme or reason why they have something. Um, and it's not in any order. Uh, people that, that collect the ammo or have a stash of it know how much they have, uh, have it in order, have it in cans, have it labeled. And, and so, uh, so, you know, that's all I have to say about that. That's, that's my rant. Um, so uh, please uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Um, please leave us a thumbs up if you do agree that, you know, this is... Uh, of a hobby and a collection just like anything else um, don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time